taking a start for the video of the day. I'm your host, Greg. Welcome to another episode. Now, I know in the last video, I told you that I was going to do one uh, on Monday, and I didn't. And I apologize. I was at home, and uh, I had a lot of stuff going on at home, because uh, I was only going to be... My truck just started. <laughs> I got uh, I got my computer down here that I'm running, and I got my fan. I I sprayed my jacket. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying before, <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I got home and I had a, I had a lot of stuff going on, and I only went home for a 34 hour break. So I was home Monday morning and Tuesday afternoon. I was right back out here again. So. Um, I didn't have time to sit down and do one, uh, and, and I apologize that one. Do one now! Alright, doing one now. Um, as I said, I got my computer and I got my fan. I found some, uh, some, uh, water repellent. Some water repellent spray. And I sprayed my jacket. I, uh, I had, I had two loads last night which I don't like, okay? I don't like doubles. And it's not because I don't like doing them, but it's the pressure of having to hurry up and get the first two done so I can hurry up and get back and get the second two done and get back here before I run hours. And, and, and it, 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 it's a lot of pressure on me, and it makes my blood pressure... And uh, I... I, I you know, my blood pressure don't need to go. It needs to go. Okay. <laughs> You're all looking at me going, thank you, Mr. Sound Effects. Anyway. <laughs> so um, what I did was uh, I got up to Otumwa, Iowa last night. It was raining. It wasn't too bad, but they opened the door real quick. I got to Fairfield, Iowa. He couldn't find the right key. And by the time I got to Fairfield, it was pouring rain. I mean pouring rain. I was soaked by the time I got in the door. And I had mentioned earlier in the week on my Facebook that I think I was getting sick. Oh, well, it's because I'm standing out in the rain waiting to get into these stores. Usually what I do is I bump the dock and then I'll call them. Hey, my name is Greg. Got your meat, produce, and dairy deli at the back door. And then they come out. You know, I, I wait a few minutes, give them some time to get back there. And then I get out of the truck and go back there. Especially when it's raining. I do that. Um, if it's a nice if it's a nice day, you know I might just call them and get out and go back there. But um, I got soaking wet, so I sprayed my jacket with this water repellent, and um, so that it would you know wouldn't ruin the jacket. It's a brand new jacket. I love it. Um, well, when I did it, it kind of stunk up the truck a little bit. So I got the fan going. I got my computer here going. I had the I had the fan and the vent going just to kind of circulate some of the air and get some of it out of here. So that the uh, the smell of it wouldn't give me a headache, which it hasn't, so that's a good thing. Anyway, we've talked uh, a lot in the past, especially with with regards to my health, about blood pressure, and I've talked to some people around here um, about blood pressure. And I had one guy who didn't even know what normal blood pressure was. Normal blood pressure is 120 over 80. Um, mine has been running crazy. It's been, it'll, it'll go up. It'll go up into the uh, into the 140s. The lower one for sometimes it even gets up to 150. So it stays between the 135 to 150 range, and that's high. That's very high. And uh, I do everything I can to try and keep it down. Okay, I eat healthy. Um, banana that obviously from the looks of it I need to eat later <laughs> I'll eat that later I'm stuffed right now oh. my buddy Greg um, that I showed you in the April Fool's uh, edition of the video of the day the one that taped up my paperwork <laughs> well he came over and picked me up and we went out we went out and had some dinner and and uh, sat around and shot the breeze for a while and um, we went to a Mexican place and he had he had what was called a California burrito. Thing was gigantic. It was that freaking big around. It was huge. It was about that long. 
and it was about that big around, and I was like, oh my God, I wish I'd have gotten that. But I had a uh, chicken fajita taco salad, and what was great about it is I ate all the salad out of it, and then you could eat the bowl, too. <laughs> I ate the bowl, too. <laughs> but uh, it was really good. Their, 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 their cups that they brought your drinks in were huge. And uh, I got a refill on it. Probably shouldn't have. <laughs> but uh, needless to say, my healthiness went to hell for tonight. <laughs> but uh, not a whole lot's been going on here. Um, just the normal everyday stuff. Um, see a lot of goofy stuff on Facebook, which you always see on Facebook. But you know, here's what I want to do. What is the goofiest thing that you have ever heard on Facebook? Just leave it in the comments, either here on YouTube or on my Facebook page, whichever, the, the Video of the Day Facebook page. Leave it in the comments. Let me know. What is the goofiest thing you've ever heard on Facebook? All right, now, the last two times <coughs> we have not done a movie clip, okay? So I am going to do a movie clip today, okay? Now, I'm going to do a joke of the day. And I don't know, I've told told this joke to a few people, <clears throat> but I don't know if I've told it on here. At least not recently. Okay? This is one of those jokes that's borderline between clean and dirty. Okay? You make you be the judge. It's a little town down in Arkansas or someplace down south down there. And uh, the preachers for the two churches lived on opposite sides of town. Okay? So the preacher on this side of town went to the was the pastor of the church on this side of town, vice versa. Well, these two preachers would ride their bicycles to church every Sunday morning, and they would they would pass each other, and they would stop and chat for a minute. So the one pastor riding riding one day, and he looks up and he sees the other pastor walking, and he stopped him and he said, "Hey, Rev, what what happened to your bicycle?" He said, "Well, I think somebody in my congregation stole it. I, I don't know what happened, but I think somebody in my congregation stole my bicycle." He said, I really don't know what to do about it. So the first pastor says, well, I'll tell you what you do about it. You go up, stand in the pulpit, and preach a sermon on the Ten Commandments. And then, when you get to the commandment, thou shalt not steal, then the person that stole your bicycle feel guilty, you get your bicycle back. He said, all right, I'll, I'll try it. So he went their separate ways. The next Sunday, pastor's riding again. He looks up, he sees the other guy riding his bicycle. He stopped him and said, hey, Rev, I see you got your bicycle back. He said, yeah, I sure did. He said, did you do what I tell you and, and preach on the Ten Commandments? He said, I sure did. And when I got to the commandment, thou shalt not commit adultery, I remembered where I left my bicycle. <laughs> All right, maybe I've told that one before and it's not funny. But okay, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I remember. I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to say my goodbyes, but you got to remember, you got to stay tuned for the movie video, for the movie clip, okay? Very important. You stay, stay tuned for the movie clip. It's very important, okay? So I'm going to wrap this up, get it all put together, get it out for you guys. Until next time, this is your host of the video today, Greg the Crazy Trucker, saying, see ya! Stay tuned. You still got, we still got the video clip. Hold on.